when lockdown started, we weren't sure if we would have to completely close the garden or whether I would be able to garden it. And because the garden's still in parts being built and it was quite quiet, we decided just to ask local people to abide by the government guidelines. What we found then was that people started to use the garden for their daily exercise. It's a beautiful space, it's very, very calming and I come and meet my friend every week and we sit down and have a chat and a catch up for an hour and it's just a really beautiful space and it's like a piece of artwork and because the gallery's not open and we can't see the art, this is a fantastic substitute and I think a lot of people are coming here because they don't have gardens or maybe the gardens are not as colourful as this and is not as beautiful as this. The garden was a surprise if I'm honest. Uh, I've been inside the Hepworth many a times, but this is new to me. And one side of it was obviously really picturesque, and that's the reservoir there. And the garden has just made that beautiful building much prettier. Obviously everything's shut right now, so you know, being outside for me is essential to my own mental health, and it just it gives Wakefield a real lift. I think the garden's important because it gives people some space and some colour. It's a bit like an oasis. You see people come in at lunchtime and sit. It's nice. It's nice to eat butterflies and bees all flying around. It's lovely. It's interesting to see what they're planting. It's more natural than formal and I think that's very nice. I really like uh, looking at the flowers individually. My son has just has a natural kind of desire to zoom in and watching him zooming in, it reminds me to do the same thing and to, and to take time. The garden is in its very first year and about 80% of it was planted last year and the plants are knitting together really well so that when it's fully established you'll have a bit of a feeling as if you're walking through floating fields of meadow or prairie planting. People have said so many brilliant things about what the garden has meant to them and in particular for local people who live very close to the garden and might live in an apartment or flat and don't have a garden space of their own this area has become hugely valuable. I feel gardens provide a really powerful opportunity for people to connect with nature, feel relaxed and to come and have a really beautiful tranquil spot. <laughs>